day still 90 degrees and overcast but um it's i mean it's cloudy it's back and forth sunshine and clouds sunshine and clouds so it's a good day i'm gonna try my stand-up paddleboard a little bit longer and uh enjoy this weather while it lasts it could cool off again in the part of florida that i live in you're never safe from a freeze until generally speaking after easter so it's only what march 21st so we've got another month where we still still could get cold weather again so i'm going to enjoy this while it lasts I am getting everything together for a camp dinner and I am going to make squash casserole along with some curried chicken wings. So I'm gonna prepare that stuff right now. I'm gonna slice the squash up and get it to re get it ready so later on after I get my fire going I'll have uh, I'll have everything ready and people won't be waiting on me and the uh, stuff will be ready. Right here I got some pink grapefruit juice and dark rum it's about 90 degrees and it's only March so that means we're gonna have a fun summer here in North Florida So last thing I'm gonna do to prep for my dinner tonight is to put my curry on my chicken wings. My friend Jonathan brought these. And uh, so the curry I'm using is nothing major. It's a Madras curry, which I got from Williams Sonoma. My wife's where she got it. I think I got it, so it belongs to me. 
I did forget to bring something to sweeten it up a little bit, but I brought some cinnamon and sugar for some dessert later. So I'm going to just use a little bit of that and I'm sure I'll have enough for the dessert anyway. And I'll show you what that is later on. It's gonna be a crowd pleaser. Okay, so there's the curry. I'm just gonna shake some into the bag. No specific amount, you know what, when it looks right. Recently we did some pork this way and we made, um, we used a puff pastry to make little pockets with minced pork with this curry on it and some, uh, a little bit of agave nectar. That's what they call it, but you know, it's in a sweetener made out of agave. And um, it was excellent, excellent, excellent. We loved it. So my chicken wings are ready to go back in the cooler. I'm gonna drop them in there in just a moment. These guys came through the campsite just now. And uh, these things look like a lot of fun to me. Check them out. Holding my finger in the way of the camera. There's a whole pack of them. They got here early this morning and just unloaded from their trailers and all their cars. And now they, they're getting back from trail riding all day. Anyway, pretty cool. And there they go. Again, those things look like a lot of fun to me. Give you a tour of my campsite. This is my Oz tent. It's a 30 second tent. It literally pops up that quick. Now, staking it out, and if you wanna use the canopy that comes out in front of it, the awning, uh, that takes a bit longer. It's an awesome tent. One thing that I noticed about it this morning, which is unbelievable to me, is how dark it is inside it allows no light to penetrate penetrate so if you want to sleep in you got no problem you can't even tell that the sun has risen unless you open up the uh, air vents this is the screen right there or one of these side vents these are all around it i opened these up last night because i was kind of warm and we got plenty of air in it anyway my tent it's my buddy jonathan's tent right there uh, I've got this little canopy. We put that side thing on it today to get some shade on our stuff so it wouldn't just be cooking all day. Let me show you the area. There's just a little pond that's out in the Osceola National Forest. It's uh, what they call borrow pits. Some people just call them bar pits. But um, what it is is they dug dirt out of here for some reason to build up a road, or in this case, I think they did it just to create a pond to create recreational use for Florida residents but they stock the pond with sunshine bass or largemouth bass and uh that's my stand-up paddleboard on the other side i gave it a try out here earlier it was extremely relaxing i laid down on it and i think i dozed off for a while until this fisherman came up and was cast near me so i got up and paddled to the shore i left it out because my daughter is coming later and i think she wants to try it but we'll see anyway pretty cool place um last night we had no disturbances other than three trucks that came in together just kind of riding around but they were respectful they drove past us and parked way over there in the corner and talked for a few minutes and left so no issues at all in the osceola national forest you can camp anywhere you want in dispersed areas you don't have to use a designated campground um, except for during general gun season which is just the regular hunting season here in Florida. At that point, you can only use designated campgrounds. And I think that's very wise because there are people everywhere hunting and it just doesn't make sense to, you know, just to be out in the woods at that point in an undesignated camping area. So very cool place, staying here again tonight. What did she say?
All right, so um, I am on Forest Road 286 in the Osceola National Forest. I just left my camping spot, which is not a designated camping area, but again, you are allowed to camp anywhere you want to in the Osceola Forest when it is not general gun season, except for uh, the John Bathia State Forest, which is up in the northeast corner of the Osceola National Forest. Up there, they only only have designated campsites. Anyway, had a great time. Went camping with my buddy Jonathan Hay um, and his wife Jenna and their daughter Elena. My wife and daughter and some other friends came out to hang with us last night. We cooked, sat by the fire, and looked at the stars. Um, it was a good camping trip, beautiful weather, warm during the day, and uh, cool at night. So, a lot of fun. It's a good way to decompress and to practice some social distancing. My group was less than 10 people, and uh, we were out in the, the wide open spaces with beautiful fresh air, so we were in good shape. Anyway. interesting as of noon march 21st 2020 this location is closed local managers are committed to the health and safety of recreational visitors and our staff we're following the guidelines for from our department and the cdc requesting regarding covid 19 closely monitoring the situation and responding to current conditions we appreciate your patience and understanding as we all work together to minimize the impacts and spread of covid 19. Very interesting. So I guess I'm not gonna throw my trash in there. Huh. Well, I'm glad I didn't uh, camp there because yesterday I would have been required to move. So uh, COVID-19 maybe. Oh well. Oh God, I can't where I camped anyway. I guess I'm taking this trash somewhere else. And I'm assuming the regular campground will be closed as well. So, um, I have to take it down the road. 
when I get back to the hard road, I'll just make sure it's secure. I tied it to the back of the vehicle, sitting next to my spare tire, so I'm sure it'll be okay, but that is what's up. It is interesting that a determination was made that they need to even close rustic camping spots like that, but 